Hi guys, it's Sensei Jason here, and welcome to the fourth video of my third Dan grading commentary. In this video, I'm basically just going to go through some arresting techniques. Um, I'm going to be using handcuffs, as you can see here right now, um, as well as a rope, which you can't quite see at the moment, that's tucked in my belt, because um, obviously, you're not always going to have access to a pair of handcuffs. Um, so the rope can be used... Um, as well or something similar item of clothing can be used easily like a rope as well okay so at the moment resting him getting him up off the floor and then from there I'd escort him out of the building or wherever I am you're we trying to get distracted so knee take him down to the floor um, I find the best way especially if they're resisting Get them on their stomach so they can't hit you, do anything. Bring the arms up behind their back. So I'm putting pressure on the back of his head there with my knee. Um, also got his arm tucked up, he's tapping there, so there's pressure on there as well. Um, basically, yeah, just keep constant pressure if they start to muck around. Yep, lift the arm up there. He's starting to muck around a little bit, so I really think I pull the arm up with the rope there. Good, then elbow to the ribs. That'll also help. Good. The only problem I find with arresting with the rope is uh, trying to tie them up. It's a bit of a hassle sometimes, but you got to do what you got to do. Then up he goes. The next one, he's trying to attack me. Good elbow on the back of the neck. Good. He's struggling a bit more than the others. Good, I don't quite have him pinned down that well, so he's going to muck around a bit on me, so I really get the arm up, knee in the back of the head again. Um, what I should be doing here is also got my, get my left leg in the back of his arm, um, well, in his lower back, help pin him down there as well. Good, but I've basically got him pinned down. If he wants to muck around, I'll just keep hitting him. He can't really get away. Um... I think realistically, if I'm hitting him in the back of the shoulder blades, he wouldn't be resisting this much anymore. But again, my opponent at the moment might not be able to feel what I'm doing, because obviously I'm not trying to hurt my attackers too badly at the moment. But again, get him arrested. And then roll him on his side, pick him up, and away we go. Of course, if you've got two on one, this would be very difficult to do. Um, I wouldn't recommend trying to arrest um, a group of people. Very difficult, unless you had a group with you as well. I'm good. So he's struggling here. So really good. Go for the fingers, wrists. Good, he managed to get one hand away, so I'll grab, go for the other hand. Pull it up behind his back. Pulling on his shoulder. Good, and then again, go back to the fingers. Okay, I've got plenty of fingers to work with. Can't find the rope here. There it is. Good, but yeah. If I accidentally break one finger, I've got plenty more to do. Good, just tie it up there. Pull the arm up behind his back. He's in pain. Easy to get the other arm around. Wrap it around, tie it up, make sure it's nice and secure. Good, got him there. 